Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Science, with all its facts and figures, can be a tough subject to learn and just doesn't appeal to some. But it can be a lot of fun. And that's the main message of the Science Academy Festival in Paris. It encourages young learners to open their eyes and see the wonders of the world behind the dull textbooks and dry statistics. It also aims to challenge the negative traditional view of making mistakes. Getting it wrong leads to getting it right, as we find out in this report. Here at this four-day Science Academy Festival in Paris, they're demonstrating how bacteria become immune to antibiotics. The idea isn't simply to say that science is a life opportunity for young people. It's a way of exploring a scientific approach, of adopting an attitude of questioning things, like people do in society. More than 2,000 people tried out 30 fun activities, like the molecular kitchen. When you chew it, it smokes. <laughs> it's a nitrogen meringue. And there are also caramel marbles, bubble gum, tea, and mint syrup made by chemical reaction. Powdered algae and calcium lactose react and make little spheres, as you see here, hard on the outside, but liquid on the inside. François Tardet is a research scientist. Science is usually taught at school by telling pupils, look, these are the facts, now learn them by heart, how an aeroplane works, how a computer works. But science is also about research, exploring byways and backroads without really knowing where you are. But by developing ideas, exploring them, you might trip up, make mistakes, but you learn through these mistakes. You improve and progressively develop new things. The empirical scientific method is based on trial and error. Error is disapproved of in our society. But that's the point of this festival. Error isn't a failure, it's a chance to learn something new. The two main inventions in medicine today, vaccinations and antibiotics, were discovered thanks to mistakes made by leading researchers. As Louis Pasteur said, luck favors the prepared mind. Reality TV might not seem to be the most fertile ground for scientific inspiration. But one popular show here in Qatar is taking the format in an entirely new direction. Stars of Science throws young people from across the Arab world together in a fun-filled but challenging environment. Inspiration meets entertainment now in this report from Doha. The TV program Stars of Science aims to make science fun and also to encourage young Arab inventors. We show them that the idea uh, can, uh, we can uh, transform an idea to a real product throughout the phases they go through. So uh, we create this curiosity and this challenge to make things happen. In each series, 16 young students compete to produce the best scientific invention. It's a challenge, both for the students and for the final jury. The top four prizes total 600,000 US dollars. Uh, I think it's time for us to depend on uh, ourselves. Uh, we need to uh, do the things that we need. Um, as a young student and an inventor, uh, I think what we need is uh, guidance. We need the uh, people to guide us uh, through our ideas. During the show, students work with professors and use the facilities at Qatar's Science and Technology Park, which is also a startup incubator. The park is run by Qatar Foundation. 
The country is obviously investing in its educational institutions as well as in its students. Although in some other Arab countries, there is still work to be done. Could Africa be the home of the next Albert Einstein? In South Africa, the founders of the Next Einstein Initiative at the African Institute for Maths and Science certainly hope so. Centers of excellence are springing up across Africa, giving new opportunities to tomorrow's scientists and mathematicians. Let's take a look. Here on the Cape Peninsula, the southernmost tip of Africa, some of the continent's brightest young minds are at work. The African Institute for Mathematical Sciences is an oasis of maths and science for Africa's young people. 24-year-old Savannah Nuagaba from Uganda lives, sleeps and eats maths. Everything I do is mathematics. Even when I'm walking, I'm so calculative. When you look at the car coming, you know you're supposed to move right or you're supposed to move left and maybe you're supposed to be this distance away from the, maybe the path or something. And so I discover that almost everything is, is mathematics. Out of 500 applicants from all over Africa, only 50 students are selected for this program. They all have a degree in physics, mathematics, engineering or computer sciences. Here, they're taught by lecturers from all over the world, and they're aiming for the heights of intellectual achievement. In teaching here, we emphasize the actual research activity more than the rote learning of skills and applying that to standard problems. So we hope in that way to encourage the kind of thinking that you need to make real breakthroughs in science. Students here have research tools which are not always available at African universities. The institution also provides networking opportunities, which opens many doors for graduates. That we want to create the conditions in which the next Einstein could be African. And this is really a very different take on development. It's, it's viewing Africa as an incredible untapped pool of intellectual talent. And the development of this talent is vital for the future of the continent. But it's not all work and no play. Students do find time to relax. Savannah hopes to do a master's in optimization before finally returning to work in Uganda. I believe that that the Einsteins are discovered even at a younger stage. Because I'll be teaching people who are much younger than me, I believe they will grow up knowing and having this feel of mathematics that I have gained from Ames. And maybe when they get here, I believe they will even be much better than us who are here today. If you have enjoyed our program and you would like to watch it or any other episodes again, you can find us online at euronews.net forward slash learning world. And don't forget, we will be back next week with more inspiring stories from the world of education. Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.